Well, it finally happened. Deshaun Watson has been traded. What is up, Finn fans, football fans, Texan fans, Brown fans, the Falcon fans, all you guys that are probably checking out this video because I'm going to be talking about the fact that Deshaun Watson finally got traded. I'm going to go into detail on uh, some of the trade uh, stuff and all that good stuff. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot and not as in compensation that they gave up for it, but it's a lot. But I got to shout out some new patrons. I got two of them in Gregory S. Uh, Aker and Arturo. Thank you guys so much for being new patrons. And let me check on the member side. And on the membership side, Andrew uh, Quintana. Thank you so much for joining. Again, if you guys want to be a member or if you guys want to be a member, hit the join button next to the subscribe button. For the Patreon side, it is linked in the description. Special videos coming out for that. Uh, real quick before we jump into Deshaun Watson, because, yeah, I'm going to talk about Deshaun Watson. That move has finally been made. We could talk about it. We could dissect it. And then we can all move on. The Dolphins supposedly are bringing back Durham Smythe. Uh, Mike Gazicki released on Twitter, and I only saw it because you gracious people sent it to me, uh, that he's coming back in two years. Very, 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 very happy that Durham Smythe's coming back. I think he's a great combination with Gazicki. I think he does a lot of things well, and he's a very good blocker and sneaks out. He kind of reminds me of Anthony Fasano a little bit. So I'm very, very happy in that front. But let's talk about this move. So, uh... It was reported about an hour ago that the Browns and the Texans are in agreement on a trade for Deshaun Watson. Three firsts, one third, and a late round pick, which is a fifth. Fourth. And they're so they're sending the Browns are getting Deshaun and a fifth. The Texans are getting three firsts, one third, and one fourth. Now, just looking at that compensation, right? The three firsts, one third, and a fourth. To Houston for Deshaun Watson is an absolute steal for Deshaun Watson. Take everything else, look at the player. That's what I'm doing right now. I know I'll talk about everything else, but looking at the player, what he does on the field, and a lot of people want to say, well, he went 4-12 and with the Texans. Yes. It's a team sport, but he still had a ridiculous year that year. Um, that's a steal. Three firsts, a third, and a fourth. Last I heard when the Dolphins were in the midst of, of trading for him, Right before the trade deadline, I heard it was they they wanted players involved and second round picks. So I honestly think that the Browns getting uh, Deshaun for three first, a third, uh, and a fourth is pretty 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 good. Um, his contract is five years, two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> His contract <laughs> is five years, $230 million. <laughs> Let me pull up my calculator because I'm not going to try to do this in my head. Uh, it, it ain't happening. And again, his in 2021, this year, his he's getting $1 million, right? So his base salary essentially this year is $1 million. That is in case he gets suspended by the NFL, which, again, if I'm predicting he's going to get suspended by the NFL, I'm saying a minimum of six games. So I'm going to say four years divided by 230, or 230, Doug, divided by four is $57.5 million. I'm wondering if I can find out um, his contract breakdown because holy guacamole no i it doesn't have it so essentially here i'll, I'll show you guys i'm recording this on here so i could show you guys that's me hello everybody let me switch it over okay so you can kind of see it i'll make it bigger so you can kind of see it this is all I'm saying. It, it just happened recently, so you're not going to really, you know, you get the the cap hit of ten million here, um, base salary of one million. So essentially, if he gets suspended this year, this is all he's going to really get. But he has a cap hit of ten million, 
five years, 230 million, signing bonus of 45 million. So you can take 45 million out of the 230. Average salary is $46 million. He is guaranteed the entire contract. I just looked at the camera. You can't see me. He is guaranteed the entire contract. Now, don't get me wrong. He's young. 26. Probably going to be 27. Uh, young. Good. He's a top five quarterback in the NFL. Last he played, he was a top five quarterback in the NFL. Five years, $230 million fully guaranteed. Now, that Cleveland Browns team is stacked. They have Amari Cooper on there now. Supposedly, they're going to try to bring that back to Davion Clowney. He has Nick Chubb on there with him. They got rid of Jarvis Landry, but that, you know, I feel like bringing in Amari Cooper. Let's pull up their depth chart right now. Um, It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, you got Amari Cooper. You have uh, Peoples Jones, and you have Jakeem Grant, who they just they just signed. His offensive line is pretty good. Um, tight end and Joku. Uh, then you have Bryant, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt as running backs, and his defense. You know, Miles Garrett, Malik Jackson, Malik McDowell. Like I said, they're trying to bring back Jadavion Clowney. Uh, Jeremiah Ausa Koromoa. I'm surprised I got that name out. Uh, the corners are pretty good. Denzel Ward and uh, Greg Newsom. If. <sighs> now, depending on how many games he gets suspended for, the expectations of the Cleveland Browns are through the roof. Now, the thing that sucks the most as a Miami Dolphins fan, right? And he's going, he still has his 22 civil lawsuits he has to deal with. And he still has to see what the NFL is going to do with the fact that, you know, he he's he, he's having off the field trouble. 22 women come out and say, you know, these allegations. It's nothing to just be brush under the rug, you know. So he's going to have to deal with this. Suspension, whatever. But... The Miami Dolphins have to face the AFC West. No, I'm sorry. They don't have to face the AFC West. I think they just have to face the Raiders. I'll pull up the um, 2023, uh, 2022 opponents. But um, they have to face the Raiders. I know that for a fact. Um, no, they have to face the Chargers. So they do have to face the Chargers who, have, you know, Went out, Khalil Mack, J.C. Jackson, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. They have to face the North. They have to face the NFC North. They have to face the AFC North. Cincinnati Bengals added a ton of weapons on there. Lyle Collins has not signed with them yet. I don't know if he will, but this is good news that that hasn't happened yet. Steelers are, are falling apart. They have really, they're not the scary ones of that division anymore, in my opinion. Baltimore hasn't done much. Um, it's between the Browns and the Bengals. They're going to be dangerous, absolutely dangerous. And then you look at the NFC North, nothing really scares me there, especially with Devontae Adams not being on the Green Bay Packers anymore. Of course, they still have Aaron Rodgers, but that doesn't scare me as much anymore. The Chargers do, the Browns do, the Bengals do. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Cleveland. If you're any Cleveland fans right now, you know, comment below. How do you feel about getting Deshaun? I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear if you guys have any, you know, trepidation, any hesitation. Like there was a bunch of, there's half the Dolphin fan base didn't want Deshaun um, because they believe in Tua and because of these off the field uh, legal issues. But Brown fans, what is your expectations now? If the Browns are, in, in my opinion, with the team that the Cleveland Browns have right now, and that's without bringing back Jadavion Clowney, that's without the draft, which you ain't got first round pick, so your first pick's going to be in the second round. Without all of that stuff, me, if the Browns don't make the playoffs this year, 
if the Browns don't at least get to a minimum of the AFC Championship, this is a failure of a season for Cleveland. Let me know if you're a Cleveland Browns fan. Am I wrong? Am I blowing this out of proportion? Am I being ridiculous? And they better be in the Super Bowl next year. You have, you went out and you got Deshaun Watson. Cleveland, it always seemed like the thing that was holding your team back was your quarterback. To me, it never really seemed like it was your wide receiver core because you had Odell and Jarvis at one point. It was never really your run game with Nick Chubb. Never really your offensive line. It was always good. Your defense was always stacked. It was always the quarterback. Well, you went out and you gave a lot, and you're paying $230 million for Deshaun Watson. If the Cleveland Browns aren't in the AFC Championship and didn't win the division, I think this is a failure of a season. Even next year, got to do the same. So say Deshaun Watson gets suspended for six games. I'll give you a little slack, right? Because you're going to have your backup playing for six games and you don't know. They might go 0-6. It can really put a hindering on whatever, you know. Let's say that. Next year, if you don't get to the playoff, if you don't get to the championship game and the Super Bowl, it's a failure. Look at what Cincinnati did. Second year with Joe Burrow, look how far they got. So with a better quarterback, yes, Deshaun Watson is better than Joe Burrow. And with a better team, yes, Cleveland Browns will have a better team than Cincinnati right now. They better go deep where this is a failure of a move and you're paying $230 million. And again, it shows that some quarterbacks need help because Deshaun Watson went 4-12 and in Houston. Then the Houston Texans the next year went 5-12 and without him. Not saying it's a team sport. But if Deshaun Watson can't take this Cleveland Browns team, which is a very, very good team, just needed that quarterback, to the Super Bowl, it's a failure. Again, and I'm showing you the example of the Cincinnati Bengals. Had a bad offensive line, great wide receivers, great front on that defense. Everything else was okay. Went to the Super Bowl his second year. So, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say about this. Uh, I feel like now the domino is going to fall. Free agency is going to start moving. These tackles are going to start signing um, Armstead and Lel Collins and hopefully Treader. All these moves are going to start happening. Let me double check my Twitter real quick to see if any uh, Dolphin moves have happened. I think it's going to be a little hush hush for a little bit. Um, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Nope, I'm not seeing anything yet. So if moves do happen, um, I will make a video. And then later tonight, I will make a video recapping the day. Not talking about Deshaun. I already made this Deshaun Watson video. So later tonight, I'll make a recap of any other moves that the Dolphins do. But other than that, guys, uh, be, like I said, be sure to comment below. And like usual, stay classy. That's all.